rain, rain, go away. Come, Come again, again some other day. I was going to do. Do you know that one? Or never you again. Know that? I was going to go, raindrops keep falling on my head. Or, <laughs> it's raining, it's, it's pouring, pouring, the old man is snoring. He went bumped to, his head. No, no. But, went to bed with a bump on his head and he didn't wake up in the morning. I say, bumped his head when he went to bed. Well, bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't get out, up in the morning. Same uh, outcome. Do you know those songs? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Just checking. <laughs> um, you know all how I feel about this rainy season we've yes. had, which has been 2019. Yeah. It's been raining. I can't take it. Um, so I decided to do a DIY project in honor of that with little miniature umbrellas. They're so cute. Look how cute they are. They are. Now, North, the beach. I know. They're like what you'd get in your little drink when you're in a tropical destination. I love it. And I love these. And you can buy these at the craft store in the party section. Party. It's a party. Uh, she's seen them at Hy-Vee. That's okay. perfect. Oh, that's so let's get started on a little fun door decor project door decor. that is perfect for this time of year and if you can't get to a tropical location make your own make bring your it, own bring it to your door bring it to your door bring it i love it Kaylee. yes okay so here's what i've started with i got a normal this is just a foam yeah. wreath that you can get at the craft store mm -hmm. uh they come in lots of different sizes mm -hmm. so it just depends on what size that your door can hold like if you have right. a giant door you could do a bigger one if you wanted to right. now i also found this adorable ribbon because doesn't this look like something you would get at a tropical you yes. know island like all these palm fronds it and goes i love with it kaylee's top i love it it really does make me a bow. i'll make, make you a bow. a bow that's what we'll do look at this yeah that, that is perfect? beautiful okay very good i'll make you a sash like miss Ozark's america box am yes that's perfect okay that's great so we i've got this beautiful ribbon and yes. i have just seriously i've wrapped it around and then hot glued it Easy That's enough. It. Easy enough. Now, here's here's why I experimented with this yesterday. Okay. Because I thought when you look at these little umbrellas, yeah. the toothpicks are so pointy. I thought, oh, that's just going to go straight through. Mm -hmm. Okay. It does not. It that ribbon is pretty thick. Okay. So I, I broke several trying, trying to. to get them in there. So I went to my garage and I got this tool right here. Look at this. This is my pointer tool. Okay. Uh, this is going to poke down through the ribbon into the foam. Okay. You just need to get it started and then, and then the toothpick will do the will rest. Do the rest. There you yeah, go. I absolutely. like it. So I'm going to ask Kaylee and Kelly to start opening some umbrellas for me. Okay. Now here's the thing with these umbrellas. They are super flimsy. Fragile. Very fragile. And some of them are already broken. That's like, why I've started early because they are, some of them are kind of messed up, but I've got a couple of good ones. Okay, let's look at some of the good ones because here's what it's supposed to happen. Okay, so here's a beautiful one. It comes with a little rubber band mm -hmm. that you then push all the way to the top that's supposed to keep it open. Right. Well, I find that once you start placing these in the wreath, they kind of fall a little bit. Oh. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to flip this over. And I'm just going to use my glue gun on the lowest temperature setting. Okay. And I'm going to just glue that right in place so it does not fall okay. as we are oh, right poking there, them right in. There. Yeah, just right there at the top. Where it holds it together. And it holds it together. So that means it won't then fall as right. you're placing them. Right. So I'm going to take now my punching tool. Mm -hmm. And this is so, it's random. Just poke okay. them in. If you don't like it, you can change it. You can it. move it. Yeah. So I'm going to take my little poking device. And I'm going to poke a little hole right here. Right. See, that's all it needs is to start. Then take it. It's perfect. And you plug. There you go. And now do you kind of mix the colors around? Do like this, like red, blue? Yes. Well, here's the other creative process. Uh -huh. What if you wanted all blue umbrellas? Oh, or even a section of red, a section, section of blue. Absolutely. Oh, you could right. color block it. Yeah. You could do, I did a random one on the finished one. If yeah. you look at the finished one, it's just all random colors, which I liked. I did too. I just think it, it makes it look more fun. So too. I'm going to keep here. I'm going to keep making little indentions. If you guys want to keep working here's on the, the umbrellas, work, I just think. to get an idea. These umbrellas were Definitely made in China. Yeah. <laughs> Half of them are broke. I told you they were broke. They are so fragile, Kaylee. That's why I kind of started working on them because really they. Oh, oh, I just dropped my. There went my toe. There, <laughs> ow, you're ow. wearing open toe shoes too. <laughs> Okay, let me keep poking right here. There we go. See, but look how cute this is. I've only added four. Yes. But look how adorable that is. It is. You're already filling the gap. Basically, you're making the shape of a round wreath using the umbrella tops that are yes. also round. And I but love it's it. already full. By the time you, you get a, a lot of these on here, it's going to make that round shape. Yes. Now, what I wanted to do was I really wanted to make a bow, but I felt the bow would be too much for the wreath. Okay. So guess what I found at the craft store? Look at these beautiful tropical 
pieces right here. Uh -huh. These almost, I wanted it to look like the palm tree sticking up through the umbrellas. Right. I cut these off with my tin snips. Yes. Uh, these, I'm telling you, these go a long way. These are the best things ever. In fact, I need to oil mine because yes. I've used them so much. Cut them off. And then you're going to glue them to the, oh, look at these. Those yeah. are massive. I need a pair of those. These are the best tools oh, I ever have. I love these. Do you want to snip one of these? I can snip one for okay, you. Okay, I'm going to pull yeah, it up here. Up. Yep. See, look at this. Look at that. You just snip it. Oh, that is And look amazing. at that. See? It comes okay. right off, okay. which is perfect. So let's go back over to the finished product, and let me just show you again what I've done. I only did it to the side. I like okay. it the asymmetrical. So I put some palms and some leaves all sticking out the side and a butterfly. I love it. Because th that just says the tropics to it me. It sure does. So it's an easy, inexpensive, fun project. So if you can't get to the beach this year, right. you can't get to Hawaii, and if Kaylee keeps breaking all your umbrellas. <laughs> Kaylee! Yeah, don't sign me up for this She's project. got an upside down umbrella. I had one earlier too. Jeremy, that looks going to look, look at beautiful that. at your oh. house. That's like Missouri after a rainstorm right there. <laughs> All right. Love this, Jeremy. All right. Great job. That's my DIY project for the week. Thank you so All much. Right. And I hope it stops raining at your house. Me we'll too. be back with more fun. Don't go anywhere. We're right here. <laughs> that looks good in your oh, hair, though. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. I'm going to make Kaylee a bonus. Oh, yeah. Okay. For your